now that with the computer, you see that I have my MS form here, and it's got a selected start time, and we gave a little note that it needs to be based on Eastern time, and then select a start date. For the start time, if we actually look at the details, that is just a choice in MS form, and then we're actually pulling in what the actual choices would be. Now the format is going to be 00 colon 00, and it's going to be on a 24 hour basis. So at say you got 8 o'clock AM, it's 08 colon 00. If you have 2 PM, it's 14 colon 00. As far as our select date, that is just a date. Uh, choice that we're actually having in there. So you're picking the date option in the MS form. For our SharePoint list, I went ahead and have the selected Eastern time column. That's just a single line of text because we want to be able to show what was actually picked originally in the MS form. And the date and time is just a date and time column. And then we also made sure that we include the time. So at our Power Automate here, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is an automated cloud flow where the triggers when a new response is submitted. So we're going to go ahead and pick our form and we're going to do a new step. And here we're going to get responses. And the response details. We're going to go ahead and pick our form again. Unique identifier, response ID, and a new step. Here we're going to do Compose. And we're going to go ahead and just rename this. We're going to say compose and let's say we're going to combine date and time. So for our inputs, we're going to do select date. We're going to do T after that. We're going to do start time and we're going to do colon zero zero. We have that there. So let's go ahead and save that. That's been saving right here. All right, it's been saved. Let's go ahead and test that. So we're going to do a manual test. We're going to go over here and we're going to do a quick input. So let's go 11 and we're going to pick Monday and submit. All right, so if we look at that, there is the input to our output. July 27, 2022, and the time 11 a.m. All right, so let's go ahead and edit. We're going to do a new step. In this case, we're going to go ahead and do create item. We got our create item SharePoint. We're going to pick our site, which is going to be Crash Long Johns. We're going to get the list name, which is our date and time list. The estimated selected Eastern time, that one there is going to be our start time from the MS form because able, I just want to be able to show what it originally was. And then our start date and time, which is our date column, we're going to go ahead and put in the outputs. Let's go ahead and save that. We're going to test, but this time we're going to do automatic and we're just going to do with the last one that succeeded. All right, we have everything in here. So let's actually go look at our SharePoint list. Let's go ahead and refresh that. So we see that it was 11. That was what was picked in the MS form. But our state start time and date time, it's a little off. The date's right, but the time is way off. So in this case, um, my particular tenant, it's set on Arizona time. So it should not be showing 4 a.m. It should actually be showing 8 a.m. So let's go take care of that. Let's go ahead and go back and edit. So now we're going to put in one extra step between the compose and create item. So we're going to add an action. And we're going to put in convert time zone. We're going to pick this convert time zone date time. The base time is going to be our output from the compose our actual source time zone is going to be in this case we're going to do the coordinated universal time minus eight 
Now you might have to play around with this because again, basing it all on Eastern time, so you might have to play around with this. The destination time zone that I'm after is actually going to be Eastern time. So we're going to look for the Eastern time here. There's our Eastern time, US and Canada. And the string that I'm after is I'm going to do the general date time pattern short time. So I just want the date and the time. Now in the create item area, what we're going to do is now we're going to still keep our selected start time, but the output we're going to change. The output we're going to make the converted time. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and test. So we're going to test this again. All right, it succeeded. So let's go look at our SharePoint list. And there it is, 11 o'clock, 8 a.m. Perfect. We got exactly what we're after, utilizing this convert time zone, which helped out. But we first had to get the compose so we could put it together. And now all of a sudden, it is in the proper time format that you needed, which would then getting everything to be based on Eastern time. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. Until next time, keep learning.